What's up, guys? Dustin Ewe here. Uh, I'm doing a quick video. It's not really quick. It's like nine minutes long. Um, on my player build uh, for EASHL Online NHL 12. Um, to, for starters, use a uh, two-way forward. Um, why do I use two-way forward? What's up? Uh, because basically uh, you want... Um, as a center, obviously you want good face-offs, and this one I believe starts off with the best face-off skill. Maybe not, but it was quite close. And honestly, I like having a well-rounded player in general. It's much better. Um, I am not a stat stacker. I hate stat stackers. People who stack speed or shot or both or you know puck control. It's really annoying. Um, I like to have an all-around player. Uh, so let's start off with the stats. Uh, Deking, I have it at 77. I have a plus 5 boost down there, so it's 82. Uh, you know, Deking is not really necessary. It's it's kind of cool to have. Um, you know, it's like for those manual Deeks or, uh, you know, the preset Deeks to, f to actually work. You need a pretty decent skill. I figured between 80 and 85 is a pretty decent one. So I just have it at 82. It kind of worked that way. Uh, hand eye. It's not a necessary thing, but um, you know when you go to the net, you kind of want to try and tip in pucks or you know bad pucks out of your zone or whatever. So I have uh, 76 with plus five is 81. Offense awareness, um, like I'm not 100% sure on what it does exactly. I know defense is like for intercepting passes and whatnot. I'm kind of thinking offensive awareness is you know like receiving passes maybe, picking up loose pucks. Uh, that kind of thing. I do have a plus five, so it is 81. I don't know if I already said that. I possibly did. Um, but, yeah, so I have 81 for offense awareness. I don't know. I guess, obviously, as a center, you want to help out your team. So picking up those loose pucks and, you know, scoring goals is necessary. <laughs> um, passing 75 with a plus five. It goes up to 80. Um... I think it was the most recent tuner, kind of screwed up passing, um, regardless of how good your passing was. I just left mine at an 80. Um, with the last tuner, it seems even though you ain't, like, you know, you kind of direct your pass, um, it kind of goes wonky sometimes. I don't know why. So, yeah, it's a little wonky that way, you know, um, basically. Um, Onto puck control. Puck control got uh, 81 with a plus 5 is 86. Most important, uh, one of the most important, you know, like skills you need to have a successful player in general. A lot of people stack up uh, stick control or stick poke checking, sorry, or like stick checking. So it's important to have uh, high puck control so you don't lose the puck. Slap shot, uh, shooting in general. Uh, I, I mean, slap shot, you don't really take that many slap shots. Most of the time, um, I'm either doing like a stam coast, like one of those one timers, or, uh, you know, like a quick, like kind of half slap shot. So, I mean, I have my accuracy up um, because of people, you can get, a, like, you can lose the puck a lot, or, you know, people can poke it, whatnot. Uh, so, my power isn't that great, but 81 still pretty solid. Uh, wrist shot. I find I take a lot more wrist shots. I like to take a lot of shots on the net. Um, so my powers up there is 85 with, with the 5 boost. And accuracy is also big. Obviously you want to score, you know, find find the holes. Um, and it helps for getting rebounds and whatnot for your teammates. Uh, let's go on to uh, defensive skills, aggressiveness. I think it helps towards hitting. I'm not 100% sure. So I have that at it's, I just I think I think I just left it at 60. Body checking I have it at uh, 91 with a plus five so 96. Um, I find I still get smoked quite often, but uh, you know you, it's pretty solid at 96. I don't think I need to go anymore honestly. Um, I really don't think body checking does anything other than you know body checking. So uh, you know I didn't really want to go to 99 with it. Uh, defensive awareness, um, as a centerman I like to, well obviously you want to, you know, be down low in your zone and the offensive zone and uh, playing 2v2, a lot of people try to, uh, it's, 
I guess it would be like an X-Play where the computer actually makes a good pass up, up the boards and uh, you can easily beat the other team's defense because the computer AI defenders are absolutely atrocious sometimes, most of the time. Uh, so defense awareness is good. I like to stay high when I can and try and pick up those passes along the boards when they try and do that. Uh, it is kind of effective. Discipline, absolutely n not really useful at all. I think I, I don't know if I put anything into it, honestly. I'm not sure. I don't think I did, though. Uh, it's at 70. I don't really take penalties. And when I do, it's like the tractor beam goalie penalty or like a trip, which I can't really do anything about. Face-offs, obviously 99. I'm a centerman. Helpful all around the ice. Fighting skill is another useless talent to have. I don't put anything into it. I can still beat players. Shot blocking, important. Uh, the more shot blocking you have, uh, the more your guy's prone to actually like getting on the ice to block a shot instead of standing up straight. So I have it at 82. Stick checking, another important skill, like I said. Um, because a lot of people do boost their stats in certain areas, um, stick checking is huge because a lot of people also know how to avoid hits or glitch out of hits or exploit out of hits. I don't know how it works. Um, so stick checking is a lot of the times the only thing that's useful to stopping those kinds of players. Um, let's go to athleticism. Uh, acceleration. We have 83 with a plus 5 is 88. Um, I find that more important than speed. Speed's also important, but I, as a centerman, uh, it's useful, you know, to be able to get get the speed you need faster, so it's helpful. Um, agility, same thing, 83 with a plus 5, 88. Um, agility is very helpful for getting quick turns or not falling when you turn. Um, balance, it does help uh, the same thing kind of when you do the turns. I didn't put like very much into it, it's at 71. It helps with getting hit too, but I'm not really worried about it. I'm usually, you know, I don't mind if I get hit, it's not really a big deal. Durability, I don't really put anything to it. If I get hurt, I mean, it doesn't really affect your player that much. Some Sometimes it does, but it's very rare. Uh, and then endurance, I think I put a little bit into it, but I didn't really, actually I don't know if I put anything into it. But endurance, uh, it's like if your player gets tired or not, but I mean online you play the full game anyways, so they kind of don't really, it doesn't really affect you. Uh, speed, I have 84, I didn't put a boost on this. Um, obviously with acceleration being at 88, um, I think speed around 85 is pretty good, you know, so 84. 85 is not really going to make a difference, um, but it's just like your constant speed. But I like to have more of an acceleration, like a better get-go than, you know, anything. And then strength 83, I have no boost on it. Uh, I think it helps with shooting, hitting, you know, all, all kinds of stuff. Um, not 100% on exactly what it does, but I just have mine set at 83. Um, simply because between 80 and 85 is usually pretty good for most stats. Um, some of them obviously like acceleration, agility, shooting, like you want to have a bit more uh, puck handling. And uh, you know, I think that's about it. So yeah, I'm a 2A forward. Uh, my guy's pretty well balanced. I hate people who, you know, uh, kind of stack stats in certain areas with certain player types. It's really frustrating when a guy's absolutely like supersonic speed. Um, but I mean, people are always going to exploit a game when they can. Even if it's not fun for everyone else. Um, so that's my player type build. Player build? Yeah. Player build. I'm 83 overall. And yeah. Um... I know this video is kind of boring, but if you guys just wanted to see my stats or learn about the stats, then hopefully I was helpful um, in general. Uh, all right, if you guys uh, like the video, uh, like. If you want to see stuff like this or other stuff, you know, leave a comment, subscribe. And that is everything. All right, thank you for watching, guys, and we'll see you later.